News a lot of Philadelphians have been waiting to hear. This afternoon, the city will announce plans to lift its ban on large outdoor events. And the state of Pennsylvania is also ready to ease indoor capacity limits. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live this morning in Maniunk to break down the details for us. Good morning, Howard. Going to you, Janelle, for this area, one of, uh, the, one of the events that is set to take place now is the Maniac Arts Festival. It had to be canceled last June, but organizers say it will take place this June on the weekend of June 26th. For some, the lifting of these restrictions couldn't come soon enough. A year ago today, I was crying in my hands. Um, today, I, I feel rejuvenized. Restaurant owners wiping away the tears as Governor Tom Wolf announces many restrictions are being lifted. One step closer to, to that normal that we're all trying to get to. Effective April 4th, Easter Sunday, indoor dining capacity at restaurants, bars, gyms, malls, casinos, and theaters will increase to 75%. Restaurants can also resume bar service, and alcohol will be able to be ordered without buying food. I'm actually surprised, pleasantly surprised. Surprised that it has come this early. Um, I have, would have imagined it to come possibly in the beginning of the fall. Governor Tom Wolf says the reason why some of these restrictions can be lifted is because positivity rates are down and vaccinations are up. Some other big changes are large events in Philadelphia. The city is expected to announce on Tuesday that festivals, parades, concerts, fairs, block parties, and other similar events can request permits. So the Stotesbury Cup and Dadville Regattas can also request. Quest permits. Organizers say the Dadville Regatta, which is the largest collegiate rowing event in the world, is scheduled for May 7th and 8th. And then the following weekend, the Stillsbury Cup, which is the largest high school rowing event in the world, is set to sail down the Schuylkill. Now, it is not clear if the city will follow the state on the lifting of capacity limits. However, there is a news conference set for 1 o'clock this afternoon. Live in Manny on Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Howard. President Biden begins.